Hello, hello, Crossroads Witches and other interesting magical beings. So happy to be here as always. Of course, for you new folks, I am Taryn S. I am part of a folkloric traditional American witchcraft uh, tradition. I am an initiated high priestess within that tradition. I'm a published author author and in Southern Conjuring I am a mama. Today I am going to be talking about the creating of a ritual. What are the steps? I first want to give the caveat the information I am giving you is within a, a folkloric traditional witchcraft system. Not contemporary, not Wiccan. So if I say things that you're like well I don't do it that way that's okay. It's not about doing it exactly the way I say. I'm just giving you some words, some tips, hacks to inspire, encourage, and empower your own personal practice. So this is one witch's opinion. That's how we're going to start after I've done giving a mouthful of everything else on it. When I create a ritual, First of all, we're going to talk witch ritual. If it is a full moon ritual, those are uh, typically magical working types, as opposed to if it is a sabbat or a feast, where those are celebratory types. So I'm going to do two different types of rituals for that. All right. Typically, regardless of any of our magical traditions, we do carry commonalities. And one of those is the creating of sacred space. For some, you would call it casting a circle. For others, you may call it the compass. For me, it's opening a crossroads, all right? However you set your space, that's important. Determine how do you want to set that space. Do you want to cast a circle? Do you want to walk it three times round? Do you want to spiral in and out? Maybe you don't want to do it with any words and you just want drums beaten in the background, all right? You know, it's one of those sit down and the first thing you need when you're doing a ritual is a notepad and start writing down these thoughts, these what am I doing ideas. You know, I'm going to cast a circle at springtime and I want to take flowers in my yard, but I've grown. Go pick them all, say good words, take those petals. And I want to throw that around and create sacred space. Would be one way I would do it. Uh, springtime. Look to the season to see also what it's telling you. The energies you want to welcome into your space. All right. You know, the energy when you're under a winter full moon is obviously different than when you're under a summer full moon. So be mindful of the moment. Don't just go get a book, open it up, and read some circle cast, all right? That's not creating. That's not connecting, okay? You know, and I'm not saying don't do that. If you love that circle cast, use it. All I would ask is if you write it in your own book, write down the name of the person who wrote it. Cite your sources. Now, you've done cast, created, connected, whatever's your way to your space. All right, what do you do next? Well, you can decide to welcome in your elementals, east, south, west, and north. Or you can decide that you want to welcome in your ancestors. Or you can decide that you want to welcome in, you know, astral realm deities, entities, your space. You get to make the rules. You do want to welcome them in with mindful caveats. A mindful caveat I use all the time is that I will, you know, witches of old and past who bid me well are welcome into this space. All right? I don't just open the invite and say, all y'all come in here. I do put a little bit of nice folks only, folks in which wish me well, folks that would like to aid me this evening. You are welcome. All right? And I've never had any problems. Now, if you want to at this point is a good time if you want to acknowledge divinity. How will you acknowledge divinity again? This is yours to create. Do you want to light a candle? 
say a beautiful invocation or evocation. Remember, invocation, we're bringing that entity spirit into head. Evocation, we're allowing it around us to, you know, um, give a prayer, a thank you, up to light your candle. Uh, at that point, typically, if we're under a full moon, this is when we are going to do any magical workings. All right, this is when we are going to dance around the bonfire, or if we're in an apartment, dance around an LED candle with good music. <clears throat> we are going to use that time to connect and recharge ourselves. All right, it's not always about doing magic. It's just connecting and, and feeling the flow through you. And this is, if this is a sabbat, a feast, at this time uh, we typically do uh, uh, some sort of activity uh, or some sort of storytelling, some lore, things of like that are involved, all right? And now, when you're ending your space, of course, you say your thank yous to those that you've invited in. It's always about being a good host or hostess. So, anyone you've invited into your space, say thank you. When you leave your space, we had some people asking on how to correctly close a space down. I'm going to tell you there ain't no correct way. There's your way in the moment that feels right. Okay? Sometimes you really feel like you got to walk that space out and say goodbye. Other times you feel like it is already starting to dissipate and slowly drift off. And just to sort of sit and watch the wind blow it away, you get the sense that you, you're good. You don't have to release anything. You've already said your thank yous. Those that left, left. And all that's, that, that remains are these small little tendrils, vestiges of energy. Leave them. All right, um, you have not opened up a portal that people are going to fall in and out of. You know, uh, when we leave space, I think the most important thing is, is to make sure that you leave it a little nicer than you found it. Um, leave it in such a way that folks don't know you were there. That's a rule that, that we work, um, whether it's in someone's living room, someone's yard, or out in the park, or on the beach. All right, it is about leaving the space in such a way nobody knew you were there. That's part of our mystery magic, which is, you know, and of course, leaving a space nicer than you found it. That is an offering up to divinity. That is an offering up to ancestral, to spirit realms. All right, you know, you're like, oh, what should I do? What should I bring? Bring your time. Bring your actions. Those are the good offerings, all right? Now, I think I've covered it without getting all up, because I know we all do it different. And that's what you should be doing. It is a little different. You know, this is your biscuit recipe. You decide what flavor, if you want garlic or cheese biscuits, or if you want buttermilk or plain, you know, that's all yours to create. Don't get stuck up in um, books with, you have to do a ritual like this. You know, unless you are part of a, a tradition or part of a magic system that has a very set regime way of doing it, which if you are part of it, you need to be following their methodology. All right? That's why you're in the tradition. So do it the way you're being taught. For the majority of us, you know, we're out here casting our own magic circles. How are we doing it? It is about connecting in the moment and truly believing in whatever crazy ass idea you have. If it feels right, do it, you know? Enjoy it is what it's about. When we go into ritual space, it should be with that, that merriment, wonderment, anticipation, all right? You should have a tingly, happy feeling going on because that is what it's really about. All right, I hope this all helps. I want to hear y'all's comments on casting circles, creating sacred space, and what rituals really are to you. And as just want to say thank you. 
Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to the members on YouTube. Thank you to the 13 Moons. Thank you to Global. Thank you to Cottage. Um, all of you folks have just been so amazing over these past years. And what we have created is doing so good. I just want y'all to know that. I'm in a moment in time where I got different folks reaching out to me. And they're all saying something nice. Ah, I know it's going to be a good year. All right, well, just get out there, fly those brooms. Have a bright, blessed day. And as always, amen, bless be, ashe, and a fovo.